Today, we will talk about how to start a decorating business from home. Let's have a look at the details. If you're interested in starting your own interior decorating business, there are a few things that you'll need to take into consideration. You'll want to learn as much as you can about the craft of interior design. There is no formal educational requirement for an interior decorator, but you'll likely want to learn as much as you can about the business before you launch your own firm. Once you feel confident in your skills, you're ready to develop a business plan and consider marketing needs. The first step is learning about interior decorating. Visit high-end spaces. Visiting spaces that have been designed by a professional interior designer or decorator will help train your eye, enabling you to learn more about the most desirable trends. Read relevant magazines. Keeping up to date with the most relevant decorating and design trends will help you build a decorating business that will attract your ideal clientele. Know the basics of design. Understanding the way your space works is fundamental to interior decorating. Design is visual as well as physical. Elements of design include balance, emphasis, movement, and patterns. Find your focus. Focus on developing your own style and interests to give your decorating business a unique and personalized touch. Do this so that people will seek you out for your particular specialty. Practice your interior decorating skills. Find every opportunity to practice trying out your ideas of interior design to improve your skills. Discuss your end visions with an experienced or professional decorator or designer. The second step is improving your skills. Get relevant training. People are more likely to use your business if you have concrete training and experience. Taking some classes in design or a certification course in home staging or interior decorating will add credibility and also give you an opportunity to network. Volunteer your decorating talent. Help friends and family when they want to do a redecorating project. Find out about offering your services at social service organizations, like fundraising offices, group homes, community nonprofit locations, and others. Develop a portfolio. Whenever you decorate a space, whether in your own home, a friend's home, or something that you are commissioned to do, take pictures of it for your portfolio. Your portfolio should be an example of all the work that you've done. Your portfolio is an important part of starting a decorating business as it will show off your talents and design abilities to potential clients. Practice your estimating. Estimating the price of your decorating project is going to be one of the most important parts of starting your decorating business. The third step is developing your business plan. Form relationships with vendors. In order to successfully start a decorating business, you will need vendors who can supply the necessary materials and supplies. Set your rate. You can set your rate based on an hourly fee, charge by square footage, or charge a flat fee, though this will only work if your client supplies all the necessary products and furniture. Determine your target market and or specialty. For example, you may choose to decorate offices, communal spaces, or private homes. Alternatively, you may want to specialize in decorating historical buildings. You can combine organizing with decorating, work in home staging for people selling their homes, or some other specialty. And, the fourth step is launching your decorating business. Write a business plan. Similar to starting any business, starting a home decorating business involves creating a solid business plan. Research requirements for permits, licensing, and insurance. You may need to consult with several specialists for help in this area, as requirements vary by state, county, and municipality. Make sure you have the appropriate business license before decorating any homes on commission. Consider startup costs. Startup costs for decorating businesses are often relatively low and you likely won't need a big budget to begin. Then select your business name. Market your decorating business. Advertising can follow many different paths. A great way to advertise your decorating business is by starting a website. You should fill this website with as many pictures as possible of your home designs and decorations. Network with other professionals. Other decorators and designers, as well as architects and real estate agents, may be able to offer you referrals. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.